Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today's Friday, so it is weigh-in day, WW workshop topic day. I'm going to talk with you guys about my recent vacation that I just returned from. We're gonna do a clothing haul, super excited. And of course, we'll talk about my week, set some goals for next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for everything I share with you in today's video, as well as nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Cannot recommend this enough. This is how I actually lost 90 pounds last year and I'm at 140 pounds lost total. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to answer your questions and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into this week's weigh-in, the workshop topic, a clothing haul, all about my trip, and we'll set some goals for next week. not know, I actually just got back from a trip to New Orleans. So last week's weigh-in was done a little bit early pre-vacation. It has been almost a week. I actually returned back Monday and it's now Friday since I returned from my vacation. So I wanted to chat with you guys about being on vacation, what to expect when you get home from vacation, weight gain resulting from vacation. But I also want to talk with you about my week after returning as well as the WW workshop topic. But before we jump into all of that, when I came home from my vacation, I had a lot of packages waiting for me, as you can imagine. And one of the packages that was waiting for me, I was so excited to dig into and that was my order from Cupshe. Now Cupshe actually just did a big collaboration with Madison for kind of a beach wedding vibe. So these are all pieces that you could wear to a beach wedding and some really fantastic summer and a little bit more dressy staples. So I went ahead and ordered a, quite a few pieces from the collection, including the outfit that I'm wearing today, which is actually a little romper. And I thought that we could do a fun little try on haul before we jump into my weigh in post vacation. So since I'm wearing one of the new pieces from Cupshe today, let me go ahead and share this adorable romper with you. This is the ruffled button front romper. It comes in sizes small through extra large. It retails for $29.99 before any discounts. And I do have a discount code for you. It is a V neckline, so it's super flattering. I love the button front closure, cap sleeves. I love that the waist has the elastic, so it kind of cinches in at the smallest part of your body. And then it has a wider leg so that it doesn't roll up when you're walking. It is perfect for a day at the beach, grocery shopping, attending kind of a beach wedding or wedding reception, and it is so incredibly comfortable. I have mine in a size large and it fits me perfectly. It is just the perfect fit and so incredibly comfortable. I'm actually heading to do some shopping after this, so I'm going to wear this today, and I absolutely love it. I also wanted to pick up something floral, because for me, that is spring, that is summer, so I found this adorable floral dress. I just absolutely love the, the dainty floral pattern on this. I love, again, the ruffled sleeves. This is the Esther Ditzy Floral Ruffled Mini Dress. It comes in sizes small, through extra large, it is $25.99. It has a round neckline, cap sleeves with ruffles. It is an A-line silhouette floral daisy pattern. It does zip up in the back, really high quality zipper. So it does go a little bit tighter around the neck. So you get that really dainty ruffle around the neckline along with the capped sleeves. I love the ruffle along the bottom. It is so silky smooth and so incredibly comfortable. And again, perfect for a wedding, perfect just for day-to-day day -day activities in the summer, little cookouts, little family get togethers. And I just love the fun dainty floral design. And then I wanted to pick a special piece from the X Madison Beach collection and I fell in love with this dress the minute that I saw it. Look how absolutely beautiful this color is. You can see that it has some gold kind of striped detailing. This is the X Madison Beach Wedding Yours Forever lace-up maxi dress. It comes in sizes extra small 
through extra large. It is $37.99, again, before any discounts. I have mine in a size large. It has that metallic threading and kind of a plunge v-neck line. It has adjustable cami straps. It's a flowy silhouette and definitely a maxi dress style. It does have that nice elastic panel along the back and it definitely is a little booby, a little plunge neckline like you saw in the try on haul. But I love the long length of it with the slit that shows just that perfect amount of leg. And then I love that it is strappy where you can actually adjust how full coverage you get this plunge neckline. I will say that in my current state, right, I'm about three weeks out from plastic surgery. This area for me is quite a challenge. I just wasn't able to get this area into this dress without a bra and even cinching it up nice and tight. I wasn't able to get the look that I would have desired from this, but if you don't have that problem or you could even wear a stick on support bra, which is exactly what I would do if I were to wear this dress prior to having this area corrected with plastic surgery, you can apply that underneath the breast to lift it up, keep it into place, but this is beautiful. And if you have a summer wedding to attend, highly, highly, highly recommend this dress. The quality is absolutely phenomenal. I love the color. I love the metallic woven threading, the plunge neckline, the slit on the side, absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited to wear this. And again, just think stick on support if needed, or if that's not a problem area for you, or if you're smaller chested than me, this would be perfection even without the bra. So you can really accentuate that area with the plunged neckline. Then I wanted to pick up something a little bit more casual, something that I would be comfortable wearing day to day and I saw this kind of gray heathered patterned dress let me just tell you how silky soft this is and the quality of this is outstanding this is the marled knit ruched drawstring dress it actually comes in two colors gray that I have and a blue color sizes small through extra large and it is $24.99 I have mine in a size large this is cozy it is stylish and I love that it has that ruched drawstring so you can really pull things in tight and accentuate your feature it has a rounded neckline short dolman style sleeves and it is a little bit more of a fitted silhouette dress I love that it has a little bit longer sleeve so if your arms are an area that you don't love this is a little bit longer sleeve than something like this, which is more of a cap sleeve. And again, this ruching pole drawstring right here just really helps flatter the figure. It's so soft and so incredibly comfortable. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot this spring and summer. You also know I love orange and you know that I love rompers. So naturally I had to pick up another romper this time in orange. I love the buttons on this. I think they are so cute. This one has a drawstring waist and a cuffed bottom on the short, so it kind of elevates the style a little bit. This is the belted rolled hem romper. It actually comes in sizes small through extra large. I have mine in a large. It comes in blue, the orange red color that I have, gray, and a dark olive green. It is $25.99 effortlessly chic and endlessly versatile. This belted v-neck lace-up romper is perfect for day-to-day -day wear. You could even wear this out with the girls for happy hour. It is knit. It has the button front closure, which I love. A little bit thicker shoulder straps and that self-tie sash belt with the rolled hem, which like I said, really kind of elevates the romper. It's so soft. It's so high quality, so comfortable. I just love the color of this. I mean, all the colors are beautiful. I could see myself picking up a couple more, but this is going to be another major staple piece for me. And last but not least, for a little bit more versatile piece, something that's a little bit more neutrally colored than my bright orange romper, I picked up this dress. And this is, again, that heather gray. This is just a little bit lighter heather gray. The waist of this is that nice wide panel stretchy material. It's a beautiful v-neck with a little bit a little bit of a capped sleeve. The length of this is perfect. It's not too short and I'm 5'8", so if you're any shorter than me it'll be a little bit longer on you but this is the heathered knit smocked dress. It actually comes in sizes small through extra large. The gray color that I picked up, it also comes in a navy blue and kind of a sage green. It is $24.99. This kind of shows off your feminine curves, but is super flattering with that smocked waist and flouncy skirt. It is a knit material with a surplus neckline, short sleeves, and a smocked waist. It definitely gives that A-line silhouette, so very, very flattering on the figure. And because it's a knit material, it is so comfortable. And again, perfect for day-to-day -day wear. You 
could dress this up with some fun sandals, some fun jewelry, but I love this and I'm definitely going to be wearing this a ton this season as well. So those are the six new pieces from Cupshe that I added to my wardrobe. I love everything about Cupshe. If you are in the market for a new swimsuit, definitely shop the Cupshe website. I think I own at least half of a dozen Cupshe suits and they are incredible quality and super affordable. In fact, if you use the code here on the screen, you'll get an extra 15% off site-wide on the Cupshe website. I will link all of my outfits that I picked up down below for you for easy shopping, but definitely check out the rest of the website. They have cover-ups, swimsuits, tops, bottoms, so many great pieces, and definitely check out the Cupshe X Madison collection because they are some beautiful pieces for these fun beach weddings that are coming up this spring and summer. So like I mentioned, I actually just got back from vacation in New Orleans. It was absolutely amazing. I did a whole post in my Facebook group with lots and lots of pictures from my trip, talked about the activities and things that I did. So definitely check that out. I will put my Facebook group here on the screen for you. If you're not a member, come join us. It's free. And I do share a lot of day-to-day -day life things, including vacation updates on my Facebook group. I will go ahead and insert a few pictures here for you, but I went to New Orleans for a conference and really just soaked up the NOLA life. I took a swamp tour and saw alligators. I I took the Creole Queen boat tour with Beth and Donna, who are some of my subscribers. It was so lovely to meet them. We had a wonderful afternoon together. I ate all the New Orleans food. I mean, I tried jambalaya, po boys, catfish, gator tacos. I had a little bit of everything. I really wanted to soak up the food in New Orleans as well because it's just not something that I can get every single day. And of course, of course I had beignets, not once, but twice. They were absolutely amazing as well. Side note on beignets, don't wear black because the powdered sugar literally gets everywhere. I did a 5K when I was there. I took a bike ride tour when I was there. In fact, the day that I did the 5K, I had over 22,000 steps. We took a city tour. There was a Mardi Gras party and there was even a dress up gala event where I was able to wear a dress that I actually shared with you on my channel from Sam Peel that I would have never worn before. It was a bodycon fitted glittery short dress and I felt so confident in it huge NSV because like I said, I would have never worn that before and would have never been confident in that before. It was just truly a trip that filled my heart, my soul, and my belly, and it was phenomenal. I definitely needed that little bit of a vacation. I mentioned before I left that my goal on my trip was to maintain my weight and I didn't plan on tracking my food, which I didn't, but I did make sure that I had my protein coffee every morning, that I packed healthy snacks that I brought, Clean Simple Eats protein with me, had that several times. In fact, the first day that I got there, I went to the grocery store and bought protein yogurts, cottage cheese, Fairlife milk, string cheese, made sure that I stocked the little fridge in my room with healthy protein snacks. So it was all about balance and moderation for me on vacation, eating all the New Orleans food and then focusing on protein and my regular foods that I eat day to day back home. It was amazing and I had a fantastic trip and thank you again to Beth and Donna who actually came in from Boston to do a little mini meetup with me in New Orleans. So I wanna share with you my weight post vacation but before I do, as always, let's chat about this week's WW or Weight Watchers workshop topic. How to get excited again about your go-to foods. We all have go-to foods, foods that we rely on. Like I just mentioned, Fairlife milk, cottage cheese, protein yogurt, cheese sticks, things that I rely on that are my go-to foods, but they can get old and we can get tired of them. So I wanna share with you some ways to make them exciting again. We have these go-to foods on our weight loss journey because these are the foods that benefit us when it comes to reaching our weight loss goals. So they're actually what's to be considered a staple for our weight loss journey. But there's some things that we can try to just make them a little bit more exciting again. Number one, think about the new foods you've started eating since on WW, or in my case, counting calories and macros. Old faves reimagined with a healthier spin and a once minor players promoted to starring roles all count as these special foods. Number two, list your top three to five, then explore how they made the cut. Go beyond taste, consider how they make you feel Feel, convenience factor, points, calorie value, and price. Number three, reflect on how you work them into your routine or meals. Are you intentional about it or are you on autopilot and how does that happen? And number four, decide on a new or exciting way you'll keep enjoying these same foods. Maybe you'll name a day each week to eat one. Example, turkey burger Tuesdays. Maybe you'll try a new recipe each week featuring a favorite food or you'll create a special meal using one of your go-tos. There's a reason these foods are your go-to because they work for you. But if we tend
tend to eat the same foods over and over again, not only do we get bored of them, but our body gets used to them. Think workouts. If you've ever had a personal trainer or you attend any workout classes, like I go to boot camp, they will change up your workouts every class or at least every four to six weeks with the trainer because our bodies get used to those. And then they're not as effective. Same with food. If we eat the same food all the time, our body gets used to that and it's not as effective for weight loss. We can get on autopilot and just eat the same foods. So it's important to shake it up every once in a while and to find ways to enjoy your go-to staple foods in a little bit different way. Again, changing it up, but still utilizing those foods that work for you in your weight loss. One great thing about Weight Watchers, counting calories and macros, is you really can enjoy most foods in moderation. So make sure that you're enjoying your staples with some of those foods that maybe you think are a little higher calorie or a little bit higher point. Just eat a little bit less of them, but pair them with those staples to change it up just a bit and make those go-to foods a little bit more exciting. I actually want to share three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, taste preferences, satisfaction, convenience, and points values can all influence food choices. Number two, leaning on a variety of foods you enjoy helps maintain healthy eating patterns long term. And number three, exploring how you will make healthier foods work for you can help you stick with them and make those additional changes. So let us know down below, what are some of your staple foods and how do you change them up to keep them exciting? I don't know about you, but I cannot eat the same food over and over again. I get bored rather quickly. So this topic speaks right to my heart and I'm always trying to figure out a way to change up some of my staples. For example, one of my staple foods is not that Greek yogurt. It's a great source of protein. It's low in calories, low in points. So what I've been doing is finding a way to mix that up, whether it's a yogurt bowl or mixing in my favorite protein powder or adding it to a smoothie, finding a way to utilize not that plain Greek yogurt in other ways keeps it exciting. So let us know your tips and tricks down below. Let's talk post-vacation weigh-in. So I, like I said, I came home really late Sunday night, AKA Monday morning, and I did weigh myself Monday morning when I woke up and I was exactly the same weight as when I left. So Winner, winner, chicken dinner there. I maintained my weight through my vacation, even with travel bloat. Literally the morning I got home, I weighed myself and I was exactly the same weight. As the week went on, I got back to my regular exercise. I actually took over a week off from physically going to boot camp, lifting weights in the gym. Like I said, I did a 5K. I was really active when it came to walking, but I didn't lift weights or go to boot camp for over a week, which was crazy. I couldn't wait to get back to it Wednesday. Come Wednesday, I'm at boot camp. Thursday, I'm in the gym. Friday, today, I'm at boot camp. So I'm back to my normal routine. So when I stepped on the scale today, a little over a week after my last weigh-in, a little less than a week after that maintenance, right after returning from vacation, I'm actually down point two. So essentially, maintained my weight on vacation and was able to keep that maintenance and drop it just a little bit throughout the rest of this week. And I'll tell you, the minute I got home from vacation, right back to normal. I talked about this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. So if you missed that, I'll put that video down below for you. But I talked about the importance of just getting back to normal after a vacation. Don't beat yourself up for enjoying all the New Orleans foods and eating beignets, not once, but twice. But once you get home, just get back to normal and you can take off that travel bloat, take off the weight gain, which is typically just a fluctuation and just get back to your normal routine. That's what helps keep you successful long term. So I'm taking point two as a win. We're taking it as a maintain. And I'm really, really proud of myself that I was able to not only enjoy my vacation, but just get back to normal once I got home and maintain my weight throughout the week. So now I want to hear from you guys. First of all, let me know all the good things about the topic, but let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? What do you think about vacation and enjoying it and then kind of getting back on track when you return home? And of course, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in every Friday. And again, I do upload five videos every single week. I will link Cupshe down in the description box with the discount links to all the outfits that I shared with you today. This romper, obsessed with it. Everything is so, so stinking cute. And don't forget to check out their swim line as well. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things. And forget, don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. And I'll see you in tomorrow's massive grocery haul because we have no food. So it's going to be a huge, huge haul tomorrow. Bye.